Hi everybody, it's Budget Bunny here, and today's video is going to be a celebration of our two-year anniversary on YouTube. We joined YouTube on January 7th, 2011, and it's also going to be a recap of 2012 since we are starting a new year. I thought so much has happened last year that I would just kind of share everything with you and kind of remember everything that we've gone through and how much we've grown. So I started our YouTube channel to actually just kind of supply a little extra information and videos to go along with our blog, BudgetBunny.ca. Um, so the very first video we posted was actually on how we built our rabbit condos. I thought the easiest way to um, give everyone that information was to actually videotape the whole thing. And to this day, we have almost 66,000 views on that um, video. There's very few dislikes, almost 300 likes, I believe, and the majority of comments are very positive. I am so glad that you guys love our cages, and I do like to regularly show you guys um, cage tours with them and and um, it's been almost three years since I actually built those cages and they're still um, really withstanding any wear and tear on them. I'm so happy. The rabbits are so happy with them. And from there, YouTube just kind of grew for us. At first, it was just cute little videos of the rabbits um, and it's grown into more health and care and um, I just... I just want to thank you guys so much. We um, we ended the year with 1,400 YouTube subscribers and 500 likes on our Facebook page. So I definitely couldn't have done any of that without you guys. I'm so glad that you love our channel and the website and our Facebook page and the bunnies. And um, just thank you so much for following us. Um, so I did want to go over kind of... 2012 in the year of our pets. Um, so the beginning of January was actually a bit of a sad time for us. We did lose our second hamster, Lucy. Um, unfortunately, I never had any videos on Lucy. She was getting kind of old by the time I really um, got into YouTube and my channel. She was um, she was a beautiful, sweet little hamster. Um, but by the time October, October or November hit, she, of 2011, we just knew that it wasn't going to be much longer with her. She was sleeping a lot more, um, not eating as much, not very active, and, um, she passed away from old age, uh, just past two years old, which most hamsters live to be at about two, two and a half years. You're really lucky if you get like three or I think um, the odd time they live to be about four years, but unfortunately they don't live very long. She had an awesome life while she was alive and I was very lucky that she just passed away naturally from old age. It was shortly after that that my husband and I decided that instead of getting another hamster, we would maybe um, get a guinea pig instead. So we came home with Sir Phineas Fluffy Talks, and he's an Abyssinian guinea pig. And we'd never had a guinea pig before, so we didn't realize just how quirky and silly and social and, and noisy. Like, they're just, they're such an amazing animal, and um, they brought us a lot. He's brought us a lot of enjoyment, and he's always got us laughing because he's so silly and he, it's like he talks to you. They're very vocal, and um, so we immediately fell in love with him, um, and I had done a lot of research about guinea pigs and that they really needed to be bonded in a pair or a group, and um, so it was only a week or two after we got Sir Phineas Fluffy Talks that we then got Sir Samson McSqueaker Box. And after bonding them together, which wasn't too um, too hard of a process, luckily for us, they became the best of friends, and we built them a large 2x5 CNC cage to go on top of our rabbit condos. And when they 
kind of reached the teenager stage because Finny is a little bit older than Sammy. They did start to squabble a little bit, so that's when I added a 1x5 upper part to their cage. So they have lots of space for two little guinea pigs, and we've just thoroughly enjoyed them. So then in the summertime, we noticed a cat around our neighborhood, and I found her dehydrated one day on a really hot day in the summer, and we began kind of leaving food and water out for her after nursing her back to health, and we later found out that she was pregnant and had also been ditched by a neighbor that lives down the street from me. So after some time of debating about what to do with her, we had called shelters and tried to find her another home, and we didn't have anyone who wanted her, and um, the shelters wouldn't take her because they were so overrun with cats. They said if we brought her there that she would just get put down. And we also didn't want to call animal control on the people down the street from us because in that case we were sure that they would take the cat and destroy her. So pretty much put her down as well because the shelters were full. Um, so after a lot of debating about it, my husband told me that he would really like to keep Callie, which is of course what I was hoping for, um, but I didn't want to put pressure on him about it because it was a big decision for us. We have a lot of animals already. So we decided to make sure the neighbor knew that we were willing to take responsibility for her as long as they were fine to you know, let us have her, which we were sure they would because they kind of abandoned her as it was. Um, so she had her kittens, um, and then we brought them inside the house, and we looked after the kittens, and then we kept Callie, had her spayed in the fall, and the two kittens, unfortunately there were three, and one of them didn't make it, um, but one of the kittens went to stay with my stepmom and my dad, and that's where her forever home is. And the other one has gone to live with my aunt, so they've both got really great homes, and I get updates about them every once in a while. I know that they've, you know, I know that they're being well taken care of, and Callie has just settled into our family so well. Um, she gets along with both of our other cats. She is so loving and sweet and we just feel so fortunate that we were able to give her a great home and that she's had you know kind of a rough life because apparently before those neighbors even had her um, she had come from a shelter. So we believe her to be about two or two and a half years old and um, that she's probably spent most of her life on the streets. So we, you know, we feel so blessed that we, um, we've brought her into our home and we're able to give her such a great home. And it's such a rewarding feeling rescuing an animal and knowing that they truly appreciate it because, you know, like I said, she is such a loving, sweet cat that I can't imagine her being not being in a warm, cozy, like sheltered home where she doesn't have to worry about food or basic necessities. So um, she, she was added to our family. Um, we also lost uh, what our beta fish, Moosh, and he wasn't that old. We're not sure what happened with him, but he just seemed to pass away one day. But again, I don't know how old he was because he did come from a pet store when I got him. Um, and shortly after that, we did get new two new betas. They're each, of course, in their own separate bowls. And we have Nicolo and Cruz. That's what we named them. And the only other things I guess I have to talk about are that we, you know, we went to Bun Fest in September. It was our third one going. It's held by Rabbit Rescue every year. And it's a ton of fun to go and meet other rabbit lovers um, shop at the great shop they've got there, do some toys, get some goodie bags. Um, we also discovered Bales for Bunnies. Um, it's a rabbit, she sells rabbit hay and is based in Peterborough, Ontario. Um, so if anyone's looking for great quality farm hay at great prices, I would check her out. She's got a website. Also, we're fortunate enough to win 
three great contests last year. Uh, one was by held by Small Paws in the Garden. And we got some great prizes from her. Uh, one was actually held by uh, Martin Mills, and it was called The Cleverest Critter in Canada. And Willow won that prize, and it was 12 bags of rabbit food, 12 boxes of hay, and 12 bags of bedding that we won, which was um, with the four rabbits and so many other animals, like not having to worry about food and hay and everything. Um, obviously, with so many rabbits, it didn't last a year, but it was such a big help for us, and it was so great to win that contest. And we also won Bun's Boutique's first contest. Um, she's going to have a shop that's opening at the beginning of February. And I'll leave the link to her website below. But she had a holiday contest that um, I think, was it Rocky and Honey? I think it was Willow and Ollie that one. We could submit a couple photos. So she chose one of our photos as a winner and we won a whole bunch of Willow toys, which was really exciting. And for this year, I'm just planning on continuing with rabbit care videos, um, videos of the bunnies. You can always leave requests, but I'm not going to lie, I'm horrible at getting to them. I, um, I just find myself so busy between work and the website, the channel, and of course caring and spending time with all the animals that um, I don't put up videos as much as I'd like. Um, but I'm hoping to kind of work on that this year and get you some great quality care videos that some of you guys have been asking for. I'm also hoping to regularly update the blog with some new toys, um, some general rabbit information and care. Um, I'm going to add a weekly post that'll be just about what's going on with the bunnies. Um, don't forget that I do have Bunday Sunday, where every Sunday a different rabbit is featured. So feel free to email a picture of your bunny to us to have them featured on the website at info at budgetbunny.ca. And make sure to include a description of your rabbit, including their name, um, their breed, their age, and what you love about their rabbit, what makes them so special to you. I'm also working on teaching the bunnies some new tricks. They can all uh, sit up pretty for their treats now. So maybe we'll get into some more different training with them. I'm also really excited because I got a new digital camera for Christmas. My old camera I used to use was a Canon 40D. That's not what I took my videos with. That's what I shoot photos with. Um, and unfortunately, it broke while we were on vacation in Disney. Luckily, my sister had her Rebel with her, so um, we were just able to use that instead. And for Christmas, my husband actually got me the Rebel T3i, so it does shoot high-def video so in 1080p. Um, so I'm still learning to use on how to use that, but I'm really excited about it because the quality, especially in low light, is quite a bit better. So I'm excited that I won't be really restricted on my lighting conditions with this camera. And other than that, I am still planning to open a store sometime this year. Hopefully in the first half of the year, I'm still working on getting everything together, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. And now I'm going to leave you with a short little clip of this little cutie here. There'll be more to come on him later. And I'm wishing you all a great 2013. Bye!